Well, the Hydro Chain Council is an association of companies strongly believing that we have to do something in order to solve the issues of the climate change. To fight global warming as agreed in Paris, decarbonization is a key among others. Hydrogen can empower the energy transition, playing crucial roles to solve such challenges. Like the other members of the Hydrogen Council, Toyota strongly believes in hydrogen as an energy vector. To gather nearly 30 worldwide companies in one room around one topic from different sectors was not easy. This is really a pioneering spirit that all of us share to make it happen with hydrogen. Hydrogen uh, technologies are ripe for use and they are a very important uh, factor for the success of the energy transition. If you want to have the energy transition, hydrogen is going to be the main vector to make sure energy is positioned at all the key usage of the economy. Uh, industries, transportation, heating, power, buffering, storage. Hydrogen has the benefit that it is clean uh, when it is used. So as long as it is clean when it's also produced, uh, then it has a clear advantage uh, over the large uh, energy storage medium that we have today. Hydrogen is unlimited and is ultimate energy source which can provide a lot of infinite possibilities. I see the world changing and this is so encouraging. You know, this afternoon, speaking about reduction of gigaton of CO2, it was not a bunch of green ecologists. It was the leaders of the biggest car manufacturers, oil producers and industry. The hydrogen economy is now at a very important milestone. We have to go forward, but now is the time where it's really difficult to convince the whole society to do so. So the barrier is to produce it at high enough scale to get the economy of scale. We need to have policymakers more aware about the necessity to have worldwide standards and worldwide regulation. In the next five to ten years, it's going to be very crucial for hydrogen technology. It has to have a strong effort for the whole industry in order to introduce the, uh, this kind of energy. So we have to join our forces. This year, we worked with Shell and the Honda to develop seven hydrogen stations in California. We had a lot of small demonstration projects and now we're involved into massive infrastructure ones. As of lately, we have uh, achieved quite significant breakthroughs. It's already very much demonstrated it can be compatible with the existing IC engine vehicles. So we should give time to technology to develop themselves and I think hydrogen will be a part in the next 15 years to this uh, transition. We had several ministers and representatives of governments in the room next door speaking with the promoters of the hydrogen industry and this is a good sign, really a good sign. Hydrogen is safe, clean and efficient.